Who's this sick little girl over here? <laughs> huh? I got my two sick little girls here. Marley's sick too. Hey Marley, we're gonna go see a doctor this week, right? Do we need to go see a doctor too? We're okay. What are you watching? It's called The Big Sick. You like it? So how are you doing? Right. I'm totally fine. Everything better. Uh, and me, I am making chicken wings. So I actually looked up the um, world's greatest chicken wings on my iPad and I'm not too happy with them. So I'm going to make my own little concoction. I just basically clean up the chicken wings, cut them up, added two eggs. It's about three pounds. I'm going to fry them because Tony said she didn't want chicken wings. I'm trying to make them super extra tasty so that she'll be watching me eat them and then she'll want to um, have some, but she won't know how to ask because she said she didn't want them, you know? So I'm making them super tasty. And that's what we're having for lunch on Monday, which is a holiday today. It's the Civic holiday. So everybody who owns a Honda Civic has a, uh, a day off today. Good movie? Would you recommend it? No, it's terrible, but I'm already invested, so. I think it's a cute movie, I think. Anyways, never mind the movie. What's more important? is how did the chicken wings turn out? And I can show you. I put them in a plastic bag with flour, some seasoning salt, uh, some cayenne, stuff like that. Like, Ooh, it's gonna be loud because another thing's frying the fans on, but I'll talk really loud. That's how they turned out. They're pretty bomb. They look like in there. But that's the scariness. So. Hey guys, today is Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Wednesday, <laughs> happy Wednesday. We decided to get the boy's suit altered today because we actually have a wedding to attend next month. His One of his childhood friends. So we're at a place called Cindy's Alterations. We looked them up, they had really good Google reviews and guess what guys, black owned. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Michelle, hi Michelle. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. And doesn't today. the boy look so handsome in his suit? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but it was way too big for him. He looked like a box. So we're getting it altered. And it looks better already just with these pins that she's strategically placing. I don't understand people wearing suits. He hates suits. It looks suits. like a, a, a box, but honestly, I feel like a sweat box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. He hot hates suits. suits. I always, usually, even in the wedding, I wore it just because I had to. The second I could take it off, it was done. It's done, eh? <laughs> I'm not built for these things. Just for yeah. pictures, then you can take it off. My husband do not like to wear suits either. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a leisure suit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that doesn't that count, day. yeah. <laughs> How do you feel with that? Yeah, it looks better, right? Yeah. More even though, because I do have quite a bit of room. Quite a bit. Yeah. If so you the thing is, like, we can't do anything more, like taking too much more in the back. So yeah. Right, and the front, we don't do the front because the front because the pockets. Oh, I see. Oh yeah. No, I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you go for it. Um, can I do the chicken fingers and fries? Yep. Can I get a side of gravy? Absolutely. You guys, I had such a great experience at Cindy's Alterations. I'm hoping that the suit comes out perfect because I really like her. Like, and it's black owned. I hope you guys can hear me because we stopped for lunch at this place called Chuck's Roadhouse. No, it's just called Roadhouse, <laughs> right? Look, hey, don't look at that part. Remember the movie Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze? I'm Patrick Swayze. This is Roadhouse. <laughs> I'm gonna get a job here. I'm gonna be a bouncer. I swear to God, it's gonna happen. Ignore whatever he just said. Anyways. We just ordered some food, we're hoping it's good. This place just opened up, so it's pretty new, so we know nothing about it, fingers crossed. But, it's dirt cheap, it's so cheap. So, and we have coupons. <laughs> I don't even know, I think we're just gonna eat here for the rest of our lives. It's, I feel like I'm in the States somewhere. I feel like we're in uh, Texas somewhere. Yeah. And I'm Patrick Swayze. Pretty excited about that. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so tired. Is it dark in here? I'm so tired. I was so tempted to just lay down and take a nap because I didn't sleep well last night. But the boy made me a cup of coffee. And I never drink coffee. 
So I'm just gonna drink it and try to get some work done, you guys. I'm so tired though, like I want to sleep and I have to be up super early tomorrow. So that's another reason why I don't wanna take a nap because you know when you nap then you can't fall asleep the next night. It's just like a vicious circle, you know, cycle, whatever. So I'm gonna try to put myself together, try. Try girl. And try to put myself together and record a video because the Keisha wig, y'all, the Keisha wig is now available. That's right. So the Keisha wig is actually a straight lace front wig that I designed um, to mimic my niece Keisha's hair. She is natural. She's actually been natural her whole life, but she doesn't wear her hair like big. She doesn't do twist outs or afros or puffs or anything like that. She has more of like a sleek, smooth aesthetic. So she um, blow dries her hair or slicks it back or whatever, wears it straight majority of the time. So. It's kind of like a kinky, yakky texture, blown out, longer look. So, um, you know, for my natural girls who don't necessarily want to rock the fro, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, girl. We all have our own thing. We all got our own aesthetic, so. <sighs> as much as I want to lay down, I need to get this done. Where is my concealer? Found it. Okay, so I'm going to... Try to look alive. 901, Chevy Drive, look alive, look alive. Get some pictures and video done of the Keisha wig. So, Lego. I'm really behind on YouTube videos too, so I might as well watch a couple vlogs while I'm getting ready. Let's start with Mrs. Diva Lake. Am I pretty? I know you guys this is actually a really cute wig and I don't really rock straight hair like that like I said this is more Keisha's thing but <laughs> you guys it's so pretty and it's so long it's 24 inches but on Keisha if you guys follow my vlogs you would have seen Keisha wearing this like in numerous vlogs she loves this wig obviously for obvious reasons but on her it goes to like right below her boob because she's tall she's five I think she's 510 um, I'm a little less than 55 so for me it goes down to my bum it's like, it goes all the way past my belly button, like down to my bum. Let me see if I can show you. No, I can't show you. There you go. It goes all the way down, like past my bum. It's kind of hot, y'all. I like it. So yeah, oh, boob shot. I just finished doing a video, but I'm not going to put up the video until um, Tuesday but I just wanted to have it recorded and ready to edit. What I am going to edit for my Thursday video for my main channel though is a um, unboxing. And this is from a company called Dollar Curl Club, which does affordable products. And you guys, it's black owned. I'm looking for my scissors, hold on. The owner contacted me and asked me to, if she could send me some products to review slash share with you guys. And the first thing I asked was, are you a black owned business? And she said, yes, girl. So <laughs> I was really, really happy about that. So what they do is they offer premium products for curly hair, curly slash kinky hair, starting as low as a dollar. How they do that, I don't know, girl, because you know these Asians be, you know, hiking up the prices for us, but that's how they're able to keep their prices lower than us and, you know, put us out of business. But anyways. I know how they do it, but I'm glad they're doing it. You guys, if you're not subscribed to my main channel, by the way, my main channel is Tony Daily. I do beauty, um, I do hauls, I do natural hair, and I do black owned business reviews slash hauls slash unboxings. Um, so yeah, follow me over there. I'm almost at 65,000 subscribers <laughs> on my main channel, you guys. Yes, I'm so excited. So if you're not subscribed, Head on over there, girl, and you will see the unboxing there. What you waiting for? 